So there's one thing about this trail that everybody assumes when it's in the boundary waters is that it's flat. And it's not. This angleworm, it's got a lot of rolling hills, little switchbacks that go up, and then you go down into wet spots, and uh, it's slightly muddy in areas, and in some areas it's just beautiful pine needles, and it's rooty, and it's rocky in a lot of areas. I mean, none of the hills are too big, but it's not just a little flat saunter through the woods, and I think that's what makes it a great trail. I really do have about one of the nicest sights you could get out here. I remember stopping here with Wandering Fool, and uh, it was closed at the time. I got these pine trees in the shade I can hang out for the day. This lovely grass. Got this big sitting rock. Oh. Oh, this is beyond glorious. Sunny. Not a cloud in the sky. About 65 degrees. Might look a little dorky, but I took these little cut-off socks, and they're soaked in permethrin. And uh, the idea is hopefully to keep anything come, coming up my corpsey feet and getting onto my lily-white legs. And uh, I, I don't have time. For Lyme's disease. I just don't have the time. I'm, I'm exhausted as it is. I'm 61. Four more years all I'm going to be doing is sitting on a little stoop somewhere in front of a general store and whittling and spitting. That was the best spit I've ever done. The best ever. Oh this is a good spot. I'm in the shade for most of the day. Pine needles on the ground. Little boggy woods behind me. And then, as I lay here, looking out, I can look that way, and I look right out here. With the war bonnet, El Dorado, which is like the blackbird, but it doesn't have the shelf right there. So there's no shelf, but it does have removable bug netting, and of course, you can pull it out. What I really like best about war bonnet hammocks is when you do deploy your bug netting, that is way up off your face. And you know, your bug netting's not right here, it's up over here. I mean, you, you can still hear bugs, but I just don't like them right there. If they're out here, I feel a little better about it. the wind. Now that, that's a mighty fine sitting spot. Even got a little back support. Just watching that one loon and then there was two of them and they're just swimming around and they're bathing and they're flapping and they're fishing and they're going up and down but uh, that's been my big excitement and I was watching this documentary on Lord Montague yeah because I've been kind of getting a little obsessed with Formula One racing and I had a really good time watching Indy 500 this year and Lord Montague had the really the first uh, motor car museum but getting off the point one of his ex-wives said this about him once. He needs to spend less time doing and more time being. And today I feel like I'm just sitting here being and really embracing it. Watch me be. When you're down and in trouble somebody on the double to free you from I'm 
being. I am being, not doing, being. Well, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. Had a cup of coffee. Had a uh, little pack of sesame crackers. I've drank some water. I've fooled around. I've stared at the woods. I pitched my tarp in my hammock. I've done a lot. And now, just getting out of the sun a bit because my little spot over there is getting kind of sunny. So I thought I'd just come over here and lounge around in the hammock. Man, it's nice just looking out at the water out there, watching the wind blow it. Honestly, this is what I dream about at home, is just being in a spot in the woods and laying around late in the afternoon. Doesn't always happen. Oh, the Lord of Lollygag is, is at peace and in the place he needs to be. Tonight I may be deploying bug net, but I'm kind of laying here in one of my favorite tarp pitches where I have my corner pulled back. You can kind of see it. That's it over the top of my tarp. So I have a great view while I lay here. No glory. They're flying above me, but they're not landing on me. Just once in a while, you just need to lay on the ground and stare up. Let spiders crawl on you. Let the wind just blow over your body while you lay in the shade because it's a lot of sun out that other way behind you. Oh, it's the Boundary Waters. It's bound to get a little bit natty, skeetery. No black flies. A lot of gnats and uh, other assorted flying creatures. Thought about doing some bushcrafting. Decided I'm too lazy. I just wanted to be, and be I was. That's my hip hop name. Yo, be I was, man. Be I was out in the boundary waters. My mama was worried about me. I said, see, I could do what I want to out here. I am free, I am free, I am free. Come with me, can't you see? We're gonna go out of the city and get out into the country. Alrighty. Here's this dinner tonight. Trailtopia ginger chicken stir fry. You got your rice, your chicken, your broccoli, your carrots, your mushrooms, your celery. You got your red bell pepper in a ginger garlic tamari soy sauce. www.trailtopia.com, Rochester, Minnesota. And for dessert, I'm going to be having a Knoppers bar. It's wafery looking. It's a milk hazelnut wafer. Sure wish I had that milk to go with it. So I'm pretty excited about the Knappers bar. Thank you, love my bonnet. Thank you very much. You know I love the candy. No, I, I seriously appreciate it. Plus, you had to send it through customs. Look at that meal. You can see that broccoli in there. And uh, those peas. Did it say peas? You can see those mushrooms. Oh, the hillbilly pot is rocking. Yes, sir. Mmm. I heard a pretty boy. Mmm. So I'm trying out this buff from Hammock Gear. I've never been a buff guy. Um, I think I need to work on my buff skills. It's a good meal. I mean, it's loaded with vegetables. Rice, uh, I added some pepper. It'd be nice to have some uh, sriracha sauce with it. Really tasty. Yeah, nice to find uh, another decent meal to get from a uh, cottage industry guy, and it just happens there from Minnesota as well. Beautiful, beautiful. So there's the Knapper Bar. 
wafery. Look at that. That is a delight to my lips, my tongue, my palate, my orifice, my gob, my maw, my mouth, my heart, my soul, my brain. Delicate, but packed with flavor. The Canopus bar. I gotta get my hand on about 50 of these. Love my bonnet. Grazie, grazie prego. E tu ci benucci. Good morning. And here is two 10 hours of sleep in the hammock. I did it again. You know, I happen to have about a half of one of these punks right there. It was in with my angle worm map. I'm glad I had it this morning because the uh, minute I unzipped my uh, mosquito netting and got it out and started moving around, it got natty, it got buggy. The midges got all around me. Uh, I lit that thing. And they're gone. That plus the bug grid up here. Really sort of, uh, I gotta believe this thing's pretty effective. I've it's my second or third season using it. Probably need a new one, but I could still smell the mosquito repellent coming off of it. And I'm having my chocolate covered peanut butter pap tart here. Down to the last little bits. Man, I love those things in the woods. But I don't think I'd carry them if I did a real long hike, because, uh, I was thinking about it last night of just getting, thinking of the lightest foods to bring for a longer hike. That's some deep thinking. But yesterday, just to be quiet and to sit out here and just really enjoy all the things I always think I'm going to enjoy. Just staring, looking, being in the moment. And I feel fortunate that I'm comfortable enough to be able to go solo camping. I know it's not for everybody. Yesterday was an extremely quiet day. Saw nobody, not one canoe, because you can't access angleworm on a canoe. You can't on Whiskey Jack. You can here, and just, just really, uh... a lot of people on YouTube get in touch with me about going on a hike, and I all I always say no. It just feels weird to go on a hike with somebody I've never met. It's too precious. If I run into you in the woods, that's great, but uh, it's precious time, and I mean, I'd probably drive them crazy. All right, I've said enough. It's time to be quiet, like a monk grasshopper, and reflect. Reflect. All right, as I head out this morning, I just wanted to show you a view of about half the trail is like this. Rocky, well, less than half. I'd say a third of it. Just rocky, pine needly, up and down the hills. I'm having a nice brisk walk out of here. Uh, it's humid, uh, sunny, not too hot. I'd say coolish. It was a cool morning. Uh, the midges are out. It is natty. A few mosquitoes, no black flies right now here on May 29th. Well, this hike is just about over. I got maybe a mile to uh, to the Ka. I gotta tell you, what a great trip. I did not see a soul out here the whole time. Just me, all by myself. I loved it. It was very zen. I can see pollen on my lens. The pollen is starting to fall. Peaceful time. All secure in Sector 7, woo. Buddy. Yeah, we really want to do that. Okay, you know what I was saying? 
about 20 minutes ago when I stopped and said, man, what a zen trip. I was out here all by myself. Didn't see a soul. Gah! <laughs> Look who comes out here. It, it's Jamie, Hannah, and Jenny. <laughs> uh, Jamie, Hannah, and Hilda. <laughs> okay, what was it again? Ella. Ella. And she's wearing the Menards hat, which is, uh, watched Indy 500 on Monday, and Menards, <laughs> Menards took first place with you Frenchmen, but, uh, they're heading on out for a little survival trip, and they're gonna have to survive these gnats, and, uh, we've all just got one thing to say. Would you just join me in a woo, buddy? Yep. All right. Woo, buddy! You're gonna have such a good time. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I just stopped here in Ely, Minnesota, and there's this store that my wife loves. And uh, I like to bring her a little something from time to time. Kind of went nuts. I got her several, now she loves bath salts. I got these really, this is a coconut milk bath. They jar it up for you. Got her a lavender, got her a honey one. Um, got her some stuff for he, her heels, for calluses. Uh, really high-end stuff, so, uh, you know, guys, I'm speaking to you guys, man. Well, you know what? I'm going to speak to everybody. If you go off on a trip and your loved one is at home and didn't go, and whether they go, hey, have a great time out there. I'm thinking of you. Love you. Inside, they're bitter. So do not. Don't forget them. If you've got the time, bring them a candy bar. Bring them a bar of soap from a hotel. Or stop and get them a little something. Make an investment on your next trip. That's what Suge of the Third Person does. Now, off to Gordy's Hi-Hat which is actually in Cloquet, Minnesota. So I've, I've got an hour and a half, hour 45. I'm just trying to not eat anything so I can be super hungry there. And there he is, there's his hi-hat. Gordy's hi-hat. You gotta stop at Gordy's if you're in Cloquet. You gotta, you hear me? Going for your classic single burger today. One to go. And onion rings, crispy. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me eat it, because that's just nasty. But uh, it's always good. Some, usually I get the double cheeseburger. Today I'm just going for the single. No cheese. Lighten it up a little bit. I just want to taste the burger, because they make them by hand. I've been here before when they're hand patting them. I'll tell you what. Good stuff. We got a duck right here in our yard. And she has laid her eggs right where we have this pompous grass and I cut it down every spring. She's camouflaged in there. Try not to bother her too much, but I need to mow the lawn and, you know, we're it's right here by our driveway. We've never seen her use this spot. But she's got about eight eggs in there. She's trying to be very covert. And they lay there a long time to hatch them, kind of living off their fat. She's just being still as can be. Keeps those eyes open, watching. You ready? What are we playing? Red-haired boy. Red-haired boy. Red -haired boy. <laughs>